What is going on everyone? It is the Luau back at it once again. It's Saturday. The weekend is here. Let's have fun. <laughs> anyway, we are going to bring you a part one of a two-part weekend series of Toy USA damage boxes. And we're going to open up a SDCC Funko Shop pickup. And uh, we'll talk about the giveaways, which we have until tomorrow. Next. All right, guys. I am the Luau, and we're back at it again. Hopefully, you enjoyed this great week of unboxings and mystery boxes. We've hit some grail, some awesome stuff. We've had a few things that have added to the collection. Shouts out to Flock to Jolly Bee on that one. Also, the other Jolly Bee with the Barong. Uh, hopefully, I'm saying that right. <laughs> awesome stuff. Uh, man, it's just awesome, awesome, awesome. This is going to be uh, a one of a two part series we're going to do over the weekend, which is Toy USA damage boxes. Um, what, what are they? I believe they are $45 boxes with a guarantee of 60 bucks. Can't beat that. Uh, we're also going to open up a Funko Shop box from SDCC. There's two pops in there. Uh, but first, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that like button. If you really like it and you want to uh, always come back and visit me again, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever a new video drops, definitely ding that notification bell because, and I think it's worked a lot during this week, if there's a pop that fits in your collection that doesn't fit in mine, it gives you first time to dibs it up and uh, hits it. Because every week, we every sort of weekday, we release a video at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So, just saying. Just saying. We move quick. Anyway, uh, let's get to... Uh, Let's talk about the giveaways coming up this coming Sunday, which is tomorrow, 9.30 p.m. we go live. We do our weekly giveaway. That is listed right here. Uh, some great prizes to choose from. One winner gets to pick out of the four prizes picked. We also pick the sort of like an extra winner. What that winner has a chance to do is come on live with me next week on the live event uh, for a segment, not the whole event, but, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, ham it up. Ask me any questions you want. You can talk to the people in the chat. The people in the chat can talk to you, vice versa. Uh, just something cool. And that is a giftable item as well. If you want to give it, gift it to somebody else, you can do that. Um, so that is that. Also, don't forget our bonus giveaway. Listed right up here. Has three channels on it. Uh, we're trying to get those channels to an extra 50 subs. Pop and candy. An exclusive pop. If we get them to 100, we do... Not only do we pick pop and candy but we pick a $50 mystery box winner. If we can get them to 200 extra subscribers by Sunday at 9.30 p.m., we do both of those two prizes and we add a $100 mystery box to it. Winner picks, if you want Spastic, you can get Spastic. If you want Boom Loot, if you want Poptopia, Toy USA, it all works the same way. So, awesome, definitely go to that video. That gives you all the details of how to do it uh, and what you have to do. You have to hashtag the Luau sent me on each one of the uh, picked out videos there. So that takes care of the bonus. And our 1750 subscriber giveaway is listed there. We do have a bonus if we can hit it by the 26th. Uh, more news tomorrow on that one. Maybe we'll extend it. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah. Also, comment down below if you like uh, shooting on the camera. Because the past three videos, three days, have been shot on uh, a camera other than the phone. Do you like it better? We'll see. Let me know. Uh, that takes care of all that. Um, da, 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 da. Let's get into the boxes. All right, so first one out, let's get to the Funko Shop. Um, you know, SDCC, and we still have more SDCC stuff to open up. It's just sort of how it goes. Um, I mean, some of them were cool. I know the, the, the Flintstone ones with the characters, you know, I remembered them. But it, it wasn't really hot, you know, high on my list. There were two that were. Now, one of them we hit in a mystery box already. Um, the other one we didn't hit. And the other one, people have different opinions of it. That, that's, I guess, what I'll say. Again, shouts out Funko Shop. They know how to pack. They know how to pack. Not only do they ship in tremendous amounts of bubble, they ship in the sorters. So first one out. People will also ask me this. Um, on their sorters, they're seeing where it says Goldblum. What Funko is doing is they're putting different code names on items so that people don't know what they are, get to be able to get the numbers off of them. And it started with Avengers Endgame as they put them in like pajamas. So... That's why they, they put it there. So first one out of the gates. Now, I do view this as an ad icon. I know some people do. It, it does say it's an ad icon. It is Toucan. 
So there you can sort of see, it does say at Icon at the top. There you can sort of see the uh, San Diego Comic-Con uh, 50 logo there. Uh, and if you can see, he is wearing a San Diego Comic-Con shirt there. Uh, just cool. That's cool. I view it as an ad icon. Um, yeah. I think I do have one listed on Macari if you guys are interested in another one. And our second one out. Um, this one, everyone has a different opinion of this pop. Some people that collect it have to have it. Other people, they like the box. Other people, it means something to them. Some people don't like it because it's like, it makes no sense. So, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know we are talking about Batman. Uh, so there you can sort of see it is the eight, it's the anniversary, which is 80 years of Batman. So you can sort of see all of them coming in this beautiful box. Um, I like the black box with the gold embossing. I think it's very cool. Some people don't like it, you know. And there you can sort of see him holding a San Diego Comic Con uh, bag. So you know. You like it, you don't like it. Uh, I am not some like huge Batman collector. I am a fan. I do like Batman. Uh, how can you not? Um, I view them all differently, to be quite honest with you. People ask, who's your favorite Batman? It's hard, to be quite honest with you. I, I thought Christian Bale in, in that genre and that Batman did an awesome job. I love Michael Keaton. Um, Val Kilmer, eh, was fair. Um... I kind of did like the movie, though, with Jim Carrey and uh, Tom Lee Jones. Uh, the other one I saw so many times, <clears throat> you know, uh, which was the one with George Clooney. A little cheesy, to be quite honest with you. That's probably my least favorite Batman movie of all. But uh, we'll see going forward. Um, I know you've heard who the, supposedly the new Batman's going to be. We'll see. I'll give it a shot. We'll see. Anyway, that's the Funko Shop pickups. Uh, very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Next box up. This is, again, uh, one of two. We're going to do the other one tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, it is Toy USA. Uh, this, there were 100 boxes. They were $45 plus shipping, a guaranteed value of 60 These are the damage boxes. Uh, I'll show you a glam shot right here. Always cool stuff from Toy USA. And, you know, sometimes they're damage boxes. They have great value to them. And sometimes the damage is not what you would think it is, you know. And people say, well, the value is if it was new. That is true. Uh, the value that they guarantee is if the pop had no issues and was not damaged. But um, damaging is always, it depends on how you look at it, to be quite honest with you. Um, some of it, it, it just depends. That's what it is. Um, slight damage, you could take, uh, you know, maybe 10% off. You know, 10, 15, 20. <clears throat> if it's totally beat to butt, you could take a you know a good bit off. But let's get to it. So we have three pops. We have one in a protector. We'll save that for the end. Uh, first one up is... So FYE exclusive. We have King Deadpool. Um, cool, cool one. Um, so this has some rubs and stuff on it. Uh, but that's... So you have this on the back. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And it's hard there. You can sort of see better there. You have that on the back. And you have a little rub here on King. Other than that, uh, that's it. That's why I say it. Very minimal damage when you look at these things. Um, so we will set that there. We're going to use the Funko app for this one only because I know that that's who they use. You know, to guarantee the value, I know that, that that's the app they use. Sometimes you have different ones. Um, so I, I prefer Pop Price Guide, but since I know that that's who they used for this one, we'll, we'll go bit by bit. Um, King Deadpool in at $13. All right, next one out of the gate, we've got Barnes & Noble exclusive from uh, The Crimes of Grindelwald. We have Newt Scamander. Um, now, as far as damage goes... Again, not really much at all, guys. I mean, really, uh, a little bit of scuffing on the window. And maybe the most littlest little hint right here. I mean, it, you can't even see it. I mean, that's how... That's why a lot of... And, you know, you had the scuffing on the window. That's... It's what happens. But Barnes & Noble, uh, Newt Scamander. Uh, so Deadpool, we were in it. We had 13. 
Newt Scamander, we were in at 14, so we got 27 on our way to our guaranteed value of 30. Uh, 60, sorry. <laughs> Next one, out of the box, we've got, oh, uh, from Disney, Nightmare Before uh, Christmas, we have Harlequin Demon. This is Glow in the Dark. You know how we like our Glow in the Darks. Uh, Barnes & Noble exclusive on him. Um, yeah, I mean, some box damage up top, but I mean, little stuff. I'm mean, not really, you might not even be able to see it with the light will reflect on it. Yeah, I can't really see it. I mean, a cool pop. Um, don't really collect the series, but a great movie if you've never seen it. Uh, he is in at $11. So, blah, 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 blah. what's it take us to? 38? 38. All right. And our final box, when we get to our 60 value, is Willy Wonka. Uh, very cool pop. Uh, I already have this one. This is a set that's sort of there for me. You know, I, uh, if you've seen me open the Violet Beauregard, the Willy Wonka, the Oompa Loompa, it's kind of there. I look at them. If they fall to me at the right price and everything, I, I'll go for it. But uh, it's not one I'm, like, absolutely out to have to complete. It's sort of like one of those ones when it comes, it comes. So looking at Willy, uh, you have a little bit of box damage on the top, not much at all, and then you have this sort of corner here, if you can sort of see. Very, very minuscule. There, you can sort of see a little loop there. That's really it for Willy. Um, 2015 pop. So let's see, we were, what were we at? 38? Uh, so we are going to finish up him at 25... Do, 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 do. What did we hit? Did we hit our yeah. So yeah, we hit our value over our sixty dollar value, uh, which is very cool. Thirty eight. We ended up with uh, what sixty three. Yeah, sixty three. Not bad. I mean, it hit our value. Uh, nothing that we're necessarily going to keep. Uh, the Luau, little Luau might try to go for that uh, King Deadpool. Uh, Newt Scamander's cool coming out of the the briefcase, and we already have Willie, so he'll be up. Um, yeah. Take a look on Macari. Hit me up if you're interested in any of these, uh, any of the damaged ones. Of course, we take damage into consideration when it comes to value. And, uh, yeah, it's Saturday, guys. Have a wonderful Saturday, a wonderful start to your weekend. We will be back tomorrow with version or box two, next one in the series, uh, 40 to 60, and we'll see how we did there. Anyway, guys, this is the Luau. Peace, love, out. Out.